Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I have a flip through of my little um, needle book that I made and there were two other videos out there showing how I made it. So I will link those in the description box. But um, I made this uh, basically using um, a old quilt that I had and um, it was fairly easy um, considering it was my first one and I think if, if you have a quilt or something or a piece of a quilt that you want to use it really makes it super easy to do this so um, anyway I'm gonna gonna do a quick little flip through even though I'm sure a lot of you have watched the process but some of you may have not so um, you can see the fun finished product um, basically like I said I took a quilt piece um, that I had this really pretty quilt um, it had a lot of roses and things like that on it and I used a lot of um, antique uh, pieces of uh, uh, trim that I had a lot of crochet trim and um, different types of Trim. they're a little you know a little different in color and I like that um, and I took um, my scraps that I had and I had cut out a heart out of felt and I went ahead and kind of made just covered it with the different um, bits of lace scraps and things like that that I had and crochet scraps and parts of um, these are parts of um, uh, applique and this is a doily part of a doily and I put that on there and then this is just a charm that I had bought of a scissor that I put in on in the middle um, so it has just the different colors of lace on it and then these are all antique buttons that I sewed on the edge of the heart to line it um, just to give it some you know just to make it stand out a little bit more. So I think it turned out really, really cute on the cover. Um, anyway, so, and then this is just some satin, off-white satin ribbon that I had. And I basically uh, put the ribbon all the way around the back and then put the heart on top of it. And that's all sewed in. Um, I sewed in the basically the uh, signatures uh, by machine. Um, you could do it by hand or machine, it would work fine. I sewed all of this uh, trim on uh, by machine also and the pocket that's on the inside so that's machine sewn and then I did a lot of hand sewing like I did the buttons and the appliques and the charm I sewed on but there's a little bit of both in here um, when you open it up I did this little uh, pocket thing in front um, and this is the inside this is the actual it's a two-sided quilt so what made it so easy is that you just already had that other side now I didn't finish this over here or anything I didn't do anything special to it um, I don't know I just thought how, I liked how it looked like that um, but anyway this is some antique uh, lace trim that I put on the bottom all the way across the bottom on both sides and then what I did is I sewed um, in between just so that you could put things in there and they would stay and then this little button closure here what that does is it helps keep things in there you could also put another pair of scissors in there like I have in the back um, and that's what that does so um, you could do it without it I definitely could have not double sewed it down here and then this would have been deeper and just kind of you know sewed it all the way up and it might have stayed fine the way it is but anyway um, in this little bag this little organza bag I put that in there for the little things that you really didn't want falling out of the pocket so what I have in there is a couple of needle threaders um, just to have in there and then I have a couple of thimbles that fit on there's a small and a large there's two different sizes um, but anyway um, to put in there so that you can they go on your thumb or whatever like that okay or your finger right so anyway 
we've got those two thimbles in there and uh, this little bag just fits right in there and after that we've got um, this is um, kind of longer kind of um, more uh, just uh, different types of needles that I put in here these are the larger ones um, I could have put them in there they would have fit but I just left that tube in there um, this is just a seam ripper that I put in there um, just you know as like kind of a starter type you know put a few things in there and as I said this little thing goes across here and it kind of helps keep them in place but you'll see also on the back this I did it exactly the same way and it helps hold in little scissors so here I just on a little felt um, I put just some needles already these are the larger ones I put a doily in here and this is a vintage square doily um, just because I like to break it up and I like how it looked so all I did on that is I just pinned on some large safety pins that you might use um, then I got on the felt over here I have some straight pins that have a gold on them and then these are some small um, needles here that I put in there and then here are some small uh, safety pins and then here are some more of uh, the straight pins in the back um, I made three pockets here and if you can see I did the same little button thing it goes all the way from here to there it goes all the way through and then again this is just it buttons on there okay and it goes through there and that what that does is on the scissor it holds the scissor in because these are really heavy um, but they're they're really good quality scissor but anyway um, so the scissors are in the middle and they just kind of go in this little sleeve here um, and then fit right there and you could leave them in there like that I mean honestly it would work but this way I know they won't fall out and then I have a measuring tape in there that I put in there and it fits right in this little pocket and then this is one of those I don't know what you even call these I don't know what they're called but anyway so that's in there and then like I said the way this works is this kind of goes and it could work on the front too I did it so where you could put this in the back or you could put it in the front if you wanted to you could put this right here and loop it through just like I'm doing in the back so the person who gets it can pretty much decide on their own what they want to do so that is all I have for that and that's pretty much it guys it's plain and simple and um, I am going to probably try and make some of these to put in my Etsy shop but I don't know for sure yet um, I may just make like little kits or something because uh, I don't know what my timeline is going to look like um, just because these are really fun to make and I think they're super practical they would make a great gift one of the pins fell out um, you know to have this in your and you can put whatever you want in there so um, you kind of have to know what you're going to put in each thing so it'll fit in the little pockets um, I kind of spaced it all out and then I just hand sewed through here and I did that over here so it worked really well but it you know it helps if you kind of have an idea of what you're going to put in there so anyway that's it guys that is all she wrote I think it turned out super cute um, I, I'm like I'm not sure if I'm going to give this one away or keep it for myself <laughs> um, you know and I have um, a couple people that I want to make them for and like I said I don't know whether I'll have time to make any because I had some people ask me and I don't know I might just like I said I might make a kit for people because it was really easy to do it did not take that long um, even the hand sewing is just something that you know you could take with you and that the whole idea of this is just something that you can take with you and use and you know you put whatever tools in there you want you know if if you do embroidery work you can put that in there I mean whatever alright guys so that is all I have on that and that's this short little video and I will see you again soon bye bye